Hi everyone, welcome to another question on time, speed and distance. Two cars travel the same distance starting at 10 and at 11 on the same day. They reach their common destination at the same point of time, which means if the time taken by them were T1 and T2, then T2 is nothing else but T1 minus 1. Why is it so? Because the second car started one hour late, they reach at the same time. So if it is starting one hour late, its total travel time will be lesser by one hour. If the first car traveled for at least six hours, that means T1 is greater than or equal to six, which would mean T2 is greater than or equal to six minus one, or T2 is greater than or equal to five. Then the highest possible value of the percentage by which the speed of the second car should exceed the speed of the first car. So I need to find out the percentage S2 is higher than S1. Let me try and find out the ratio of S2 by S1. Suppose this comes out as 1.5. That would mean that speed of 2 was 50% higher than speed of 1. If this comes out as 1.7, that would mean speed of car 2 was higher than speed of car 1 by 70%. So how much will be this? S2 by S1 will be T1 by T2 because speed and time are inversely proportional to each other. Now we know that T2 is nothing else but T1 minus 1 or let me convert it to terms of T2. T1 is T2 plus 1 divided by T2 which is nothing else but 1 plus 1 by T2. Now how much is this value? I don't know what this value is but I know that T2 is greater than 5 which will mean 1 by t2 is less than or equal to 1 by 5 or less than or equal to 0.2 because 1 by 5 is 0.2 which means s2 by s1 which is 1 plus 1 by t2 will be less than or equal to 1 plus 0.2 what i have done here is that this 1 by t2 i have replaced it with 0.2 which essentially means that S2 by S1 is lesser than or equal to 1.2. Now, this essentially means that speed of 2 is higher than S1, but the upper limit of that is only 20% higher because 20% it will make it 1.2. If I had gotten this as 1.18, then my answer would have been 18% higher since I have got this as 1.2, that will mean S2 is greater than S1 by 20%, which is given to me as option 4. So it used a little bit of inequalities, a little bit of ratios, but overall a simple question that should have been attempted in the exam. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of future videos.